Do you think Sam Bankman Freed might Epstein himself? I mean, obviously. Do you think prison's gonna be a little hard on a woke vegan? I don't care. Should anybody trust the word that comes out of your mouth? No. Would you tongue punch Caroline Ellison's fart box? Why would you do that? What about her pink taco? We can talk about it. What about Sam's brown eye? I don't like to uh, speculate. Me either. Big Kevin O'Leary, the man, the myth, the World Economic Forum puppet man. Welcome back to the show. Very good, thank you. Have you ever watched Criminal Minds? I've been watching this for years. Hell yeah, me too. So I'm sure you've heard of the phrase criminal profiling, correct? Of course. Do you know in real criminal investigations, it's not uncommon for the offender to somehow attempt to insert himself into the investigation to keep tabs on it? Including, I, I've, I've applied to go on the credit committee. I, I want to help in this situation. No joke. The FBI actually says the bigger the person's ego, the more likely it would be that they would try to insert themselves into an investigation. I will, on behalf of every other shareholder, go find where this money is. I mean, there's not a chance that you would be trying to insert yourself into that investigation to lead detectives astray as much as possible that's why i want to get on the credit committee what the f it is what it is it's i'm being you know everybody knows what's happening here did you and your wife ever join in on the friday night orgies at ftx you have no idea when the journey starts what's going to happen are you going to visit sam in prison of course <laughs> do you plan to push the media narrative that sam bankman freed fought extradition even though the rest of the world knows that that is not the truth and anything i can do and i'm very fortunate to have resources i'm going to why do you think the deep state media is saying this sbf demanded to see the indictment against him reuters is reporting bankman freed first wants to see the indictment against him before making any agreement that bankman freed wants to see the indictment against him before agreeing and asks to then see the the charging documents. After a pretty chaotic hearing, extradition, but his lawyer said that his client first wanted to see the indictment against him before making any decision. When we really know that this is the truth and this is what actually happened. The real story here is what happened in the hearing. It was absolutely insane. So, so he was going to use, uh, I think it was called motion 17. He was going to move the court to waive his right to stay in the Bahamas and so he could go in the United States. And let me tell you, he wanted desperately to get out. There were several times he was shaking. Uh, there were several times he stood up and, and, and motioned over to his lawyer and said, you have to get me out of here today. Today, you have to get me out of here. He said that multiple times. He did not want to stay in the Bahamas another minute. His real name is Bit Bozo. So the mainstream media isn't trying to make it look like Sam Bankman Freed tried to fight extradition when he was begging to get out of the Bahamas prison so that they can say that he tried to fight it and the only reason he agreed to extradition is so he can get out on bail when he gets back to the U.S.? That's just not true. Bakeman Freed negotiated for certain bail conditions in exchange for agreeing to surrender to U.S. feds. It's all noise to me. It's just Rabini, that's just noise. This bit bozo guy, that's just noise. I don't care. I mean, yeah, you're right. The mainstream media would never lie to us, Kevin. The facts, the truth, the timeline, it all has to come out and it will. And there's no way that you're going to be on every mainstream media outlet trying to push that narrative that the only reason that Sam Bankman Freed agreed to come back to the U.S. is so that he could get out on bail. And, you know, it's embarrassing for me, obviously. Do you promise, Kevin? You know, the truth is, I have to be honest about this, too. I don't get it right every time. Do you think Joe Biden is going to pardon Sam Bankman Freed? You know, this is America. In this country, you're assumed innocent till proven guilty. Do you think Donald Trump should be president? I mean, obviously. Do you think that Caroline Ellison is the reason that uh, Pfizer created Viagra? I, I would actually like to know how this one went down. What would you say the odds of Sam Bankman Freed actually being innocent? Possibility of that happening, I suggest, is practically zero. What if I told you that I thought that you were trying to set up CZ and create false narratives and promote fake news and propaganda to try to use your government connections to uh, put WonderFi on the next level? But the first thing we did with the remainder of our crypto assets is move it up into Canada under the OSC order in the mm -hmm. BitBuy wallet, which is owned by WonderFi. 100% compliant. I don't know, Kevin, I'm confused. CZ would not comply with the request of the regulators, according to Sam Bankman-Fried. <laughs> so let me get this straight. The only proof you have to make accusations against CZ is the word of Sam Bankman-Fried? 
we all look like idiots. And, you know, I'm the first to admit it. I mean, I can't think of anybody more honest than Sam. Can you? All of the paid spokespersons, including me and Tom Brady and Seth Curry and Giselle and right down the list. Let me guess. You like extra soy in your latte, don't you? That's just not true. Can't win them all. Look, everybody has to deal with this in their own way. So let's just recap everything really quick. It's going to be a long journey. Sam Bankman Freed used to work in China, quite possibly could have been a Chinese operative, could have been involved with the Chinese government. Of course. And yet we were letting this uh, dorky dweeb who used to watch his girlfriend get plowed by his entire staff every Friday and jerk off in the corner with a doggy mask. I, I have I have nothing. You know, I've been 100% transparent. And this dude was traveling with you to Washington to meet with regulators to manipulate the system, game the system. And you expect us all to believe whatever narrative you try to give us, Kevin? I mean, obviously, this by chance wouldn't be a way for central banks to force a central bank digital currency down citizens' throats, would it? That's what we have to find out. So the government is not trying to purposely sabotage the economy and crash the stock market to drive up unemployment numbers so they can push their woke climate change agenda on us? You don't like it? Too bad. So this isn't a deep state cover up set up by the United States government. Sam was just a kid. He's an he's an interesting person. Um, I mean, this 30 year old man was just a just a kid. Just made a few mistakes. Uh, only 32 billion. No big deal. I'm just shining the light on what happened. So you didn't look into any of the employees that worked at FTX like Dan Friedberg? No. Your entire team of all these great people, not one of them did any research into FTX? No. Sam's parents helped him bribe regulators and pay off politicians for protection. I don't know why he was having a problem with this. Sam Bankman Freed was working with Gary Gensler to build a regulatory monopoly over crypto. Meanwhile, there's a turf war amongst regulators in the US and we're getting nowhere. So Sam was using Gary Gensler as his personal hitman? We all have to deal with that. I mean, the SEC was targeting and attacking altcoins that were only listed on Binance and Coinbase. So the SEC could bring charges against Binance and Coinbase for listing unregistered securities. I could really use a dose of facts right now. Sounds like Gary Gensler was legit a paid assassin, taking out all of Sam Bankman Freed's competition. But now the pressure is extreme. Yeah, it does sound like that, doesn't it? You know, there's a difference between being a criminal and being negligent. Hmm, never thought about that. But we don't have any answers yet. I mean, it kind of sounds like Sam Bankman Freed was using Gary Gensler like Joe Biden has been using the FBI. There's no denying that. Could you beat Dr. Phil in a push-up contest? Everybody knows that. Why do you think everybody considers you a pathological liar, Kevin? It's a tragedy. Look, I, it's, it's an absolute tragedy. Why do you think people call you a fraud? The sting of failure really motivates people to figure out what they did wrong and not do it again. That's, that's experience. That's what it is. You know, Kevin, I'm kind of starting to feel like you're full of shit. This is a uh, bump in the road. I got two words for you, Kevin O'Leary. I was going to put him in uh, foot, foot, foot. Excuse me.